Jared Poland, Photo.com. And the question is, is this a major issue with the Nikon Z7 or is it an issue with Adobe Lightroom? Now let me take you a couple of steps back to help you figure out why I'm talking about this. Because I discovered something with the Nikon Z7 that I haven't seen in any other camera that I've ever used when bringing a RAW file into Lightroom. So what is happening is whatever my picture style is in my RAW files is actually being imported into Lightroom with those changes intact. Now some people may say, well I love that because I hate when I bring a RAW file into Lightroom and then boom, it converts it to a flat file. Well, I personally want that flat file and the issue isn't the fact that it's bringing it in, the issue is more that the fact that it is not letting you reset it to the defaults with none of those changes in there. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here we are in Lightroom right now. What you can see is the file exactly as it came in from the camera and the RAW file. Over here on the right hand side, you see plus 60 on the contrast. What I did as a test is I upped, I went to, I went to uh, Vivid, picture style and I even made it more vivid to see what would happen. So then I brought the file in here and you can see plus 60 on the contrast, plus 30 on the saturation and where it gets even more crazy is it's at 88 on the amount of sharpening. So only in the past when you used your picture style it would bake that information into the JPEGs. Now, with the Nikon Z7, which I'm pretty sure is the first camera to offer this in conjunction with Adobe Lightroom, this is the first camera that's bringing in your changes from the RAW files. Now, this is, this is why it's an issue. When I change my picture style in the camera, the only reason I do that is to get a better reflection of what my edits may look like when I bring it into Lightroom. Now I don't want them to be actually brought into Lightroom. The reason is back when I used a D2H back in the day, I would take pictures and my picture styles were set to standard and what would happen is it would look like it wasn't in focus. It looked like my images weren't sharp. Well, they, they actually weren't because no sharpening was added. So what I started to do was add one on the contrast and maybe two on the sharpening, knowing that when I look at the preview on the back of the camera, that's gonna be more representative of what the file is gonna look like when I finish editing it in Lightroom. But the major issue here is that you can't reset it. So when I go in here and I hit reset, everything is still staying exactly as it was when I brought it in, it's baked in. That I don't like and I hope this isn't something that Adobe is going to open up. I mean I think they've opened it up to all camera manufacturers but up until this point I think the Z7 is the only one that is taking advantage of this. What I will say is all right you have that information in the raw file well give me the option to either turn that off in here so it doesn't bake it into my raw file or have a switch in Lightroom to turn it off so it doesn't happen when I import it. So I'm not sure whether this is a Nikon, it's not really an, a major issue in the Z7, it's a, it's, a, it's a problem and I'll tell you how to correct it, or is it more of an issue on Adobe's side? Now the way that I've corrected it is that on import, I've created a Z7 import. I based it off of the D850's defaults. I went into the D850 raw file that comes in as default, everything is zeros across the board, basically, and I set that, and when I import files with the Z7, it defaults to that. That's one way around it. But if you go ahead and hit reset, reset will take it back to the defaults that the raw file already had. The other way around it is to come in here into Lightroom and go zero, zero, come down to whatever you want your sharpening to be and you could say 40 with a radius of one and a detail of 20. But I don't wanna to have to do this for all of my raw files. I want my raw files to come in and be flat. Then I can either put on my own presets that we've created, frontosphoto.com slash presets, or I could just tweak every file the way that I want to tweak it from scratch. Some people may like that this is going to be there, but having no option to have a switch to turn it off in camera or turn it off in Lightroom 
is an issue because even the standard, even if you just left this on the picture style standard, when you bring that in, it's doing like negative six on the contrast and it's doing something to the clarity. It's always doing something that I don't want it to do. So I don't want to, I don't want to sit here and take a picture and have no picture style on here because it's not very representative of what I want my final image to look like. And when I say what I want it to look like, some of you may say, well, why don't you just leave it set perfectly to how you would want it to be when you bring it in? The reason is I can tweak the file better myself in the raw file in Lightroom than letting the camera make the decision. The camera making the decision is almost like it's taking, like you're taking a JPEG image. So again, this is the first camera from the research that I found and from what I've been told that actually takes advantage of baking the raw file with your settings, whatever your picture styles were, and then bringing them into Lightroom. The EOS R doesn't do that. Actually, every camera prior to this that I've used and tested doesn't do that. I bring the file in, it's washed. It's on zero and I go through and use my presets or my defaults that I want to use. So right now, when I import it, I have to import it with a de default that I set, a preset for my Z7. So everything comes in at zero the way that I want it to be and then I tweak from there. So do you know of any solution around this? Is this an issue with Adobe? Is this a major issue in your mind? Do you like the fact that it will have the picture style already baked in or do you not? I personally don't. And if you're wondering where the real world review is of the Nikon Z7, it's actually over there being edited by Steven. It's getting there. We're almost done and ready to put it out. We just have to make sure we do everything so that it's the best review possible and we will have it out as soon as we can. Now I did mention presets. If you've been looking for presets, we've created 14 custom ones. Go to fronosphoto.com slash presets. You can play with each one of them and see befores and afters and decide if it's for you. So thank you guys very much for watching. Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com. See ya.